are open. Hey Aries, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Cross watchers, you guys are always welcome. With that being said, Aries, let's just let's just get into your reading. All right. So what's the overall energy for love and romance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Boundaries. An adventure wanting to come out. What is Aries person of interest? What is what is what what is their energy towards their relationship with Aries? What's their energy towards their relationship with Aries? Okay, grounding. And what's Aries energy towards their relationship with their person of interest rom romantically? Okay, fun. Push these guys up. What is the current situation between these two romantically? What is the current situation between Aries and their person of interest romantically? Healing. All right. And what's the best potential outcome here for Aries and their person of interest romantically? Mm. Move forward. Okay. Dive deep in memories. I feel like for you guys is going to be very interesting. I'm going to be honest. I feel like there's going to be a lot of change in your life. And I think that you're going to see that when you enable certain boundaries and you force certain things, I think you're going to be surprised at what the universe actually comes and rewards you with. And I don't know why I feel like that, but I, I don't know. I just, I feel like that very strongly for some reason. Now, for your overall energy romantically, again, it's boundaries. And I feel like with you guys, setting certain boundaries for yourself and other people are necessary, right? Because a lot of times, if you don't set those boundaries, even setting boundaries, like for instance, with an ex, it's like you have to set those in order to have forward movement in your life and also keep a level of protection around you. Why is boundaries here for Aries overall energy? Okay, with the Six of Swords, there is uh, there is uh, Mercury in Aquarius. I feel like there's going to be a lot that's said. I think some of it is going to be bullshit, but I also think that whatever is being communicated this month, um, sorry about that, whatever is being communicated this month between you and your person, okay, we also have um, Jupiter here or uh, Sagittarius. It's changing the way things are going. Let me ask what the change is. There's some type of expansion here. There's some type of forward movement, but I feel like that comes when there is something that's expressed or you're expressing, ooh, Aries, something pertaining to your partner, something that you've kept hidden for a period of time. High Priestess, Taurus, we have Libra as well as Gemini here, okay? High Priestess, Empress, Nine of Swords, In order to have a level of growth with this situation, there is some type of transition. And I feel like there's obviously something here, Aries, that you're nervous to share with your partner, I feel like. It gives you a level of anxiety. And it may have even caused you a level where you've even um, isolated yourself for a period of time or where you haven't necessarily communicated with this person because you're nervous what's hidden the page of cups hmm there is something beautiful though that's hidden here hold on how would Aries feel about this how would Aries feel about their overall energy two of wands okay that's Mars and Aries okay let's take it back really quick two of wands there, there's a lot of Taurus energy here there's a lot of energy of commitment there's a lot of energy um, of forward movement, which is funny because we have as your outcome move forward. But here's what I'm getting. I feel like for you, this is you setting boundaries with yourself. I also think that this is you taking a risk and doing something that's unexpected and trying to change the direction of how things are going. Because for some of you guys, your boundaries are so tight around you that it doesn't allow anyone to even come close to you or 
for your partner, they've made boundaries where it's hard for you even to get close to them. Either way, there's going to be some type of unexpected communication pertaining to the past, pertaining to what's being hidden. And I feel like that's going to change the direction of things. For some of you guys, there's a lot of travel. Um, there is some unexpected surprises. I do see that coming. Um, possibly messages of love and romance. But I also think too, like you're, you're relatively nervous about what's going on. But you shouldn't be because the two of wands is there, right? So ultimately, there is some type of choice with how you want to have forward movement. You already know you want forward movement with somebody. You just have to... You have to plan out in your head exactly how to execute that. And I feel like when it comes to Aries, you guys are always like four or five steps ahead of everything. Everything is already pre-planned. Everything is already set out. And whatever silence that you've had over a period of time, because I do Aries feel like there is some type of romantic silence here. Um, but I feel like that's because there's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of thinking about, you know, when you isolate yourself, it forces you into this moment where you have to process things differently. And I feel like you're thinking about how you handle certain things with this person. Yeah, I know I'm right. Because there's something here that needs to be said that's not been necessarily expressed yet. Okay, your partner's energy towards you is grounding. Woo! With the, let's see, I don't know if that's upright or not. What, what is their energy? What is Aries' person of interest? What, what is their overall energy here with Aries? Okay, Eight of Wands with, or I'm sorry, Three of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. So there's definitely Virgo and there's Aries again. I feel like this person is patiently waiting for you to figure things out. That's what I'm getting. I feel like this person is waiting. I feel like they're definitely trying to be strong here. You have Leo with the Four of Wands. This, this person already knows what they want from you. And I feel like they're waiting for you to kind of like allow your boundaries or allow your inner circle to open up a little bit so that they can be a part of your life. But it's crazy because it's like you have the magician with the ace of swords. So I also feel like your person is trying to figure out exactly what to say to you. When it comes to your relationship, there's something here that they're working on. It can be a song. It can be a gift. It can be something that they're going to vocally express to you. But there's definitely something here with that type of energy. I also feel like, too, they're waiting to work on things. It's like there's still something that they're working on. And they're worried if it's going to come back around. But what's crazy is it is. Because you have the three of wands here with the four of wands and strength. Yeah, there is stability coming. This person is very stable. This, this, this person knows what they want. Okay, what's Aries energy towards their person of interest romantically? What's Aries energy towards their person of interest romantically? Wow, hangman reversed. I think that now is a time, Aries, where you've already taken a period of time to really think about what you want. And I feel like you're tired of waiting. I feel like now is the time for you to walk away from whatever bullshit, walk away from whatever drama was in the past and really move towards something beautiful, towards your future. But I feel like this month is all about fun. Um, you have the lovers here, okay? Um, but you also have the six of cups reversed. So it can be uh, letting go of a past situation, maybe like a mother or father of your kids, there's something here of release, or it even can be the release of like past energy. I know that that may sound weird, Aries, but I feel like when we get into relationships or situationships or entanglements, whatever you want to call it, you know, that energy tends to cling on to us. And I feel like there is some type of release. I feel like you're no longer hanging on to the past. And I feel like you're ready to move forward, especially with this lover's card here. You're in a good place and you're in a good space. We have Scorpio reverse. We also have Aries, or I'm sorry, Pisces or, um, holy shit, Pisces or Aquarius. Aries, you know what you want. You're ready to tell somebody the truth. Ace of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. I love, I love Wands and Pentacles. 
that combo for me, I love that because it's like there's something very solid there, but it's something that's actively being worked on with a lot of passion. I don't know, Aries. I just think that you're ready to walk away from the games and the bullshit. I feel like you want to shake things up right now. I feel like you're tired of waiting. I feel like you're ready to say something in order for you and this person to have a level of forward movement. Okay, your situation is healing. What, what, what's, why is this here for Aries? With the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. So Pisces had sensual healing. But for you guys, I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. There's Mars and Pisces. Um, I feel like you're healing. Wow. Temperance. Or, I'm sorry, the star. But look, holy shit. Temperance is at the bottom with the Ace of Swords. Here's what I think. Whoever was fighting this connection, Aries, whether it's you, whether it's your partner, whoever the hell it may be, I feel like it's done. I feel like you guys are done arguing. I think that you're done fighting. I feel like there is a lot of healing and a lot of transformation that's happening, but it's happening through emotional connections. And there is something very beautiful here. Take a look. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. We have, we have all the Aces here. So this is a brand new start with you and this person. But I do think that there is a level of healing that needs to happen. And I feel like it happens unexpectedly. But it is happening regardless. Yeah, and it's interesting because the potential with this relationship is insane. Um, but I do feel like those boundaries that we have, they need to be explained to why we have these boundaries up. Um, how we change these boundaries, right? There is something about having progressive movement forward, whether it's emotionally, financially, spiritually, whatever it is, right? But there is something here pertaining to growth. And I feel like you and your partner, you're having a huge growth spurt and there's a level of healing that's going on. And I feel like your partner is very solid in what they want from you, but they're waiting to see how everything is going to pan out. And they're trying to be strong right now and also communicate their feelings towards you. Because I feel like, like I said, there's been a level of silenceness not saying like if you and your person are talking, silence to me is there's not a lot of conversation going back and forth because you both know what it is, right? And it's like kind of waiting. Like there is a sense of wait here. Like this person is waiting to see whether or not what they've been working on with you, it is as solid as they really think it is. So with that being said, Aries, I love you guys and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.